Did you know that the ocean covers over 70% of the world? And there's so much we haven't been able to explore. We actually know more about space than we do oceans. So there could be mermaids out there. There's so many things we can do today. We can learn and we could play a project or a DIY. Whatever it is, let's give it a try. Hi there, it's Miss Mickey. Last we learned about the land, I think we should learn a bit about the sea. I like going to the beach. Did you know there are many beaches with different sands? Some beaches can have black sand, red sand, or even purple. How? Beaches can be different because of the minerals in the sand. Think of minerals like ingredients in your favorite cookie, just like how you need flour, sugar, chocolate chips to make cookies. You need different minerals to make rocks. Sand forms when rock breaks down from weathering and eroding over thousands or even millions of years. But the most important thing is keeping the beach clean. Be sure to throw away your trash. We need to care about our environment because everything ends up in the ocean and those poor creatures don't deserve it. I learned a bunch of things about the ocean recently. Hey, Mari, did you know there was a unicorn of the sea? Really? Of course, but it's called a narwhal and they're these little whales with a horn that is actually a tooth. They are so cute. Speaking of whales, last week we talked about mammals. They are actually the biggest mammals in the world. They can be about 75 to 100 tons. That's almost as much as an airplane. That's huge. Reporting live from the beach, I'm Disaster with MB News with a quick story on zones. Sources close to us say that there are five zones. We have Sunlight Zone, the Twilight, Midnight, Abyss, and Trench. Each get darker as you go. In the Sunlight Zone, you may find a sea turtle or dolphin, which is one of the most intelligent creatures in the world. Next, the Twilight Zone, where you might find an octopus or a swordfish. Next being the Midnight Zone, where you can find the nightlight of a creature, the anglerfish. In the Abyss, you may find stars, sea stars that is. And deep down in the trenches, if you are hungry, you may find a sea cucumber. Thank you. This has been Disaster with a Quick Story. Oh, cut. Remember how the ocean covers more than half of the earth and there is so much we haven't explored? There could be so many types of animals that we don't know about. I bet you do know and probably have seen a crab before. That's right. I see one on TV all the time. Well, crabs are known as the spiders of the sea. I don't like spiders, but I do like crab. They taste yummy. I also think so. Speaking of things that taste good, shrimp. Shrimp are omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals. Oh, and a shrimp's heart is located in its head. <laughs>
now that you've heard of the unicorn of the sea and the spider of the sea, but have you heard of the horse of the sea? The seahorse. Oh. Now seahorses, when they find the one, they stay with them forever. And the boys have the babies. Isn't that cool? Sure is. Now there are plenty of fish in the sea, but I'd like to talk about clams. They have no eyes, no ears, no nose, but sometimes they do have a pearl. Okay, so we're gonna do a really quick and easy craft. You're gonna take out a piece of paper, choose any color. I chose pink for mine. And you're just gonna draw this weird sort of shape and make sure you give a lot of space at the end. You're gonna fold your paper in half and give it a little more space, see like that, and then take out your scissors, but be careful, and go ahead and cut around the lines that we just drew or the grooves that we just drew because we're making a clam. I am just folding the edges. It'll be easier for the end. Um, and then just making sure everything looks good, giving it a couple more folds. And now you are gonna fold it like this to give it some grooves and some ridges. And then where we gave that little bump, make sure you fold around there and do a little bit of adjusting to give it a good shape. And now just tape your ends because it won't just stay together by itself. And put a little, little ball in there and you have your own pearl clam shell. Great. And speaking of great, there are great white sharks. Hammerhead sharks, tiger sharks, nurse sharks, and a bunch of other types of sharks. The cool thing about sharks is that they don't have bones. They have cartilage, which is the same stuff that's in our nose and our ears. And unlike you, they gotta keep moving when they sleep. And sharks have so many teeth they can put the tooth fairy out of business. But there's no need to be afraid because they are more afraid of you. Whew, that was a lot of information. But I think it's time to go. See you next time. Yeah, I gotta go sell seashells at the seashore. Man, that was hard to say. <laughs>